my years at Gordon-Conwell go way back to high school. When I was a junior in high school and a seminary student from Gordon-Conwell was working in our local church for one year. And during that one year, there were a handful of us who came into a living faith with Jesus Christ under his influence and leadership. Then I came here as a seminary student myself when I first worked on my Masters of Divinity and worked at a local church uh, in the area. And then came back several years later and got my Doctor of Ministry degree. And now I'm back here working in the DMIN department and leading the Pierce Center for Disciple Building. I feel like I've come full circle. The Pierce Center is designed to be a co-curricular opportunity for students to be fully engaged in their spiritual formation while they are studying hard uh, here in their classroom experience. And my vision for the Pierce Center very simply is to place a rule of life under one arm while they are receiving their wonderful parchment that goes under the other arm. So when they leave here to serve the church worldwide, that they carry with them not just their wonderful academic achievement, but also a personal rule of life. The first one is intimacy with God. Uh, we want them to sense and know God's invitation for them to come close, draw near, and follow after them. But the second one is intentionality, knowing that they are dearly loved by God and created uniquely in His sight. How are they to intentionally live out God's unique call on their life? So invitation to intimacy and intentionality to living faithfully for Him all the days of their life. So the book is designed to be an interactive workbook to help every reader understand the characters that are in the biblical text. Uh, we also bring to life great men and women of church history. And each chapter ends with uh, questions for the individual to answer, as well as the small group that they're uh, working on their rule of life with. And in that context, they're understanding God's invitation to deeper intimacy and His desire for them to live more intentionally. My desire through crafting a rule of life is that each of us would see ourselves as uniquely created men and women of God, that God dearly loves, has a passionate affection for us, and wants us to not only know that and lean into that, but live fully for Him.